What's cracking, y'all? <laughs> a lot of you guys have been contacting me and basically like begging me to do another girl talk, which I love and I appreciate you guys requesting videos. Um, so th today is gonna be another girl talk. It is gonna be a very juicy one, definitely. Like, um, yeah. So the topic for today, fix my damn ring light, is messing with a married man. Before I get into this email from one of my subscribers, I want you guys to leave your opinions in the description bar and definitely leave your advice for this female in the description bar. Do not forget that if you would like to be featured in the next Girl Talk or if you have advice and you would love for me to address it, if you want to be anonymous, of course you have to put the drew. You want to be anonymous. I will leave my email in the description bar. You guys can email me and you can definitely be featured in the next Girl Talk. Um, my only rule is that you guys don't like send me like little, like little kitty shit like hey this girl bumped me what should i do like no like it needs to be like some you know what i'm saying like video worth you know what i'm saying i will always reply but still you know so let's get into the video bitch all right this is a long this is a long juicy email but i promise you if you stick through this video you read through the email with me you will definitely enjoy the uh the tea I got for y'all today. And of course, y'all know, bit like me, need to have some thought juice. Y'all want some thought juice? Y'all look, look a little thirsty. You go, I say, ah. Right, let me get into the email. So, this email is from Crystal. Crystal says, hey Jazzy, I wanted to say that I love your videos and I'm joining the army soon, like May 9th. I love you too, baby. I love all y'all. All y'all that love me, I love y'all. Like May 9th soon. So I really hope you can reply before then. Okay, so I met this really amazing guy on Tinder. I know that sounds really bad from jump, but anyways, he is one of the sweetest guys that I've ever dated. But he comes with a lot of baggage. Um, number one, being like, there's nothing wrong with meeting a guy on Tinder. I met my bae online. It wasn't Tinder, but I met him online. Yeah, so I know that sounds bad from jump, but anyway, he is one of the sweetest guys that I've ever dated. But he comes with a lot of baggage. On our first date, well, actually, before he even came to pick me up, he said he had a two-year-old daughter, and he is 19 now. Woo! First flag. Um, he, he, 19 with a two-year-old? Mm. Mm, that's, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Definitely can't judge, but, like, goddamn, like, he was pumping from early. All right, so he has a daughter, a two-year-old daughter, and he is now 19. And it was, it was a problem for me, but meeting him... And the time we spent together and the talks we had, I just felt something special with him. Listen, y'all. And I told him I can't stand liars. And I would rather be hurt by a lie than falsely comforted by the truth. And he said he understood. And he told me that he had a wife. And for me, that the end was over and done with. But I gave him the chance to explain and try to get me to understand the situation. His wife. But I'm going to call her Bella. Listen, y'all. It's juicy. Him and Bella had been high school sweethearts, sweethearts, and when she got pregnant, they both did what they thought was the right thing and got married. And he had said that things between them hasn't been working out for a while, and they both decided not to be together. But we are in North Carolina, so they have to be living separate for over a year before they can get a divorce. Bella dropped out of school to take care of the baby, and he works all the time, so there isn't anywhere, any way that they can separately take care of the baby. And since they were both raised in divorce, homes they wanted their baby to grow up with both parents until she was old enough to understand so as of now they live together and she has a boyfriend who also stays with them from time to time and i really like him might even love him but i have a history of bad relationships and falling for the wrong guy and never knowing what i really deserve he treats me so well i don't care if i should accept the baggage or just let him, let him and all of it go together and even if and he even said if i just wanted to be friends that he would understand so it's not like he's hiding anything from me. I just don't know. Please reply. I need advice. This isn't the type of thing that I can talk to my mother or friends about. They see everything black and white. Okay, look. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Uh, if I was you, I would get the fuck out of that situation. Just off the simple fact that... Not because he's, um, he's married. Because people do get separated. Like, it's not like... You know what I'm saying? People get separated. But... He, he basically told you they live together and they're, they, they don't plan on ever getting a divorce because it's for the kids or what else he said? 
because bo both of their parents were divorced and they know how it feels. Um, look, don't nobody want to hear that shit, okay? If you're married and you're not getting divorced, you're not separated, ain't no reason why we should be talking. Like, you want to end up getting your feelings hurt. I feel like that, that, that just sounds a little fishy to me because I feel like the only reason why he told you was because he kind of ain't got no choice. Like, he can't hide his wife. You're going to have to go over to the crib. He can't, like, he had to tell you either way. Um, honestly, the situation sounds funny to me. Um, the baby is two years old, you said. If they get a divorce, the baby two years old. The baby don't even know what a divorce is. So, as long as the baby sees the mother and the father, the baby will be fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like the baby's 15 and, well, the, the, it's not like the child is 15 and the child knows. Marriage from divorce. The baby's two. Like, all the baby needs is to be nurtured and have a mom and have a dad. They don't have to be together. Damn, they don't even have to live together. So, I don't want to hear that shit. I feel like... He's lying. Um, there's nothing wrong with me and the dude on Tinder. I met my bae online and bae is life, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's, it's really hard sometimes to give advice because you really honestly never know what somebody's going through. I feel like you grown. All you guys that email me, y'all all grown. Y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do. This is just my opinion. Um, him having a kid if you're willing to accept that, then, you, then accept that. Him being married, if you're willing to accept that, then accept that. Them not being willing to get a divorce, um, what the fuck are you, you, you willing to be the mistress? Like, bitch. I, I don't, I just, I don't get it. Like, are, so him and Bella supposed to be married, living in the same house, and Bella gonna have her man, and you gonna be over there. What are y'all gonna be like this big ass, or you, like what what is that like no 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 no. if i was you i would not mess with him because he's married and he said he damn well told you he's not getting a divorce like he I, I don't understand that for the kid shit like that sound like what's her name what's her name on love and hip-hop the one that messed with uh peter tara tara for the kids everything this bitch tara do is for the kids like that's what it remind me of um um, Bella and, and your boyfriend, like, why y'all still married if y'all not in love? It's for the kids. Why y'all still live together? It's for the kids. Why y'all not willing to get a divorce? It's for the kids. Uh, bitch, what? Like, no. No, I f don't, don't, please don't fall for that. First of all, you're about to ship out the basics, so, you're about to do bigger and better things. Um, the army don't play that shit. Messing with a married man or messing with a married female, y'all ass can definitely go to jail. Adultery is not a joke in the military, so... You, you don't want to fuck up your career before it even started. Um, if he's willing to get a divorce, that's different. Then you should, by all means, stay with him. But if he's not, then you need to pick your fucking chin up. Uh, you know, put your pride in your fucking bag and keep it pushing. Like, okay, he treats you good. And there's a thousand other dudes out here that will treat you good too. I mean, you don't have to ever feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to depend on a dude. Like, okay, he treats you good. You like him. He likes you. But... Is he willing to give you everything you want? Like, this nigga don't even want to get a divorce. Like, bitch, what? Like, no. If I was you, he, he gotta go. He, he gotta go. He gotta go. Like, what do you guys think? Leave a, leave a comment in the description bar. On what do you guys think she should do about her being in love with a man that is married and basically say he ain't getting a divorce? Like, what, what do you mean you're not getting a divorce? Like, just because he told you he was married don't mean shit and how is he gonna hide it from me when you go over there what, what what bella gonna do she gonna hide in the closet like no bella gonna be walking around butt ass naked cooking for the kids well the kid because it's her house because it's her husband's house you know what i'm saying like and you're gonna feel like shit like you, you really are like i mean if i was you and he was telling me whatever whatever but i would honestly feel like the side bitch like i'm getting the dick but she got the she got the title you know what i'm saying like no you deserve better than that and that dude gotta go. You gotta check the deuces up because no, no, no. Some baggage is definitely, you know, doable, but some ain't, and that that's not doable. I'm sorry. That's not that's not fucking doable. It's not no. Nah. nah, cut that nigga off. Cut that cut that nigga off. Cause that's just my direct 
advice, if my director. If you have any advice for her, please leave it in the description bar. Tell me if y'all think I'm being too harsh. I don't think I'm being too harsh. I'm just saying, like, how I would tell my little sister, like, yo, what are you doing? You look like a bozo. No, baby girl. So leave y'all advice for her in the description bar. If you guys want to be featured in the next Girl Talk, y'all know what to do. But I'm finna get out of here and probably go find somewhere to put myself because I ain't got shit to do and nobody to chill with. So yeah so let me know if you guys feeling this new wig well i don't even gotta ask you to let me know because y'all y'all gonna let me know regardless but anyways yeah let me get out of here i'm gonna talk to you guys in my next girl talk will probably be tomorrow i don't know but anytime you see this wig just know it's it's a girl talk coming up don't forget to follow all my social networks instagram periscope snapchat you now all that good shit i'm live like almost every day of the week so I'm going to leave it in the description bar and I will see you guys in my next video. And it's tough for me to get drunk, so...